Hi everyone, thanks for joining Maroon Oak Speaker Series, where we bring you info, ideas and inspiration on topics that matter most to women entrepreneurs and professionals. Today we'll talk about five simple ways to strengthen your digital brand. Or in other words, are you the one your customers and prospects remember? About me, my name is Pooja Krishna and I have spent 20 years in corporates and running my own show. I teach, mentor, and write extensively about how entrepreneurs can build successful businesses that are truly in tune with their customers' need. I love this quote. Careers are written on resumes, but a brand is created in the mind of your audience. A strong brand offers your business a huge advantage in many ways. Visibility, brand value, leads and traffic, and finally, social proof. So are you adopting these five steps to build a stronger brand you? Step one, do a digital audit. Find out what people see when they look you up online. For that, you must show up in the first page of a Google search. Look on a public computer or a device, not your own. What does Google share about you? It could be your website, social links, a magazine mention, or even a blogging or membership site. People really want to know who you are without having to ask you. One thing to keep in mind is that social profiles will always show up higher than your web ones. In Google's eyes, Facebook clearly rates higher than your website. I did a search on my name and here's what I found. On Facebook, it offered up a host of profiles to choose from because my name is pretty common. However, on LinkedIn, there was a specific hit on my profile. A little more? A Google search also showed up my company's name and my author profile on Maroon Oak. And finally, my personal profile on Twitter. So not too bad overall. Step two. Now that you know how visible you are, ensure that you are easily findable. And how can you do that? Leverage the features and reach that web and social media offer you. It is very important to have a professional and public presence on social media. So no, I don't mean a Facebook profile that only your friends can see. On your website and on your Facebook page, have a strong About Me section. The next is Contact. If they can't get in touch, people lose interest. NAP refers to name, address, and phone number. Also Google Maps. And if you'd rather not share a phone number, an email ID works too. However, since it's a public share, make sure that you use a different email ID from your personal one. Finally, cross post your links. Social media on your website and vice versa, Twitter on your Facebook page and so forth so people can find you in more places. Step three, grab attention. We all want info and we want it yesterday. So make it easy for your audience with info which is impactful. And how can you do that? Short and interesting summaries work best. And here's what your profile must include. Specific keywords. Don't be vague or flowery. Work titles are important. So stay away from titles like Chief Happiness Officer or at least add a more searchable term like the examples here. Next, when you're talking about yourself, it's okay to balance professional and lifestyle info. It adds an interesting, more human face to your brand. Example, maybe you're a mom or you have a great hobby. Add a favorite quote. Finally, don't forget the links and media. It could be your website, a magazine feature, a picture of you getting an award, or even an impressive headshot. But it all adds up to your brand image. Step four, share and update regularly. And the reason for that is social media channels like dynamic profiles, and your audience does too. It's amazing how many people forget to add or update their professional stuff, like skills, a course they completed, 
or new certifications. So make sure that your credentials are right up there and updated regularly too. Similarly, respond to and share the shout outs. Nothing like a recommendation from another to boost your brand. And going back to the personal you, if there's something you volunteered with, a cause you support, or a personal or human interest story that you're comfortable sharing, that works well too. I shared an article on my journey with United Airlines on LinkedIn. It had nothing to do with my work, but it has gotten me the most reactions and followers so far. Step five, the last and probably the most important thing to remember is to control your narrative. What you share matters the most because personal is visible too. Like they say, what happens in Vegas stays on Facebook. Despite the separation between private and personal accounts on social, it is not all that hard to see personal profiles today. So tread with caution. One moment on Twitter. Think through your posts on social media. No matter how outraged you are over something on TV, be sure that your tweet or Facebook post is not just a rant, but a statement that you will stand by tomorrow. Because you can delete a tweet, but someone somewhere might have already taken a screenshot. Finally, think channel audience, because not all channels are created equal. So try and separate your content for different social media. Each has different audience and content style. So customize your shares and particularly your text copy so that you and your brand stand out. And that's our five steps to a strong digital brand. I hope you found this video useful. Watch out for more videos and lives from Maroon Oak brought to you by Women Entrepreneurs. And you can also join hundreds of talented women entrepreneurs and professionals on Maroon Oak. List your business, connect, collaborate, hire, review, promote, and the best part, it's all free. Find us on the web and the top seven social media. Thanks again from Team Maroon Oak, and we'll see you soon. Bye.